Hello! So this week went by pretty quick, but then this weekend got pretty exciting. So Thursday, um, my boyfriend decided that he um, was going to get a puppy soon. Um, or a dog. He was going between puppy and like a one-year-old dog rescuing uh, from a shelter um, because we are both kind of stuck at home. Um, he's living in a house by himself right now um, and so he's stuck at home working from home and so he has all this time to train a puppy. So he figured now's the best time so that by the time he's ready to go back to work after the COVID stuff is over, um, that she, he or she will be ready and trained um, for him to go to work during the day and then come back. Um, so on Thursday, he just started looking online. Um, by Thursday night, his sister had a friend whose brother um, had some border collie puppies and he was kind of looking in the herding dog uh, family. So we set it up in Friday. We went and met three puppies um, to see how we would fit with them, find out um, if they had gotten their vaccinations, heartworms, whatever, like find out all we could about them. Um, just kind of get to know the, the owners. Um, they, they're, he's a breeder, but he doesn't actively breed. He just happens to have um, a mom and a dad who has given him two litters and so he sold the puppies um, and they are pure border collie but he doesn't have papers for them because he's not attempting to actively breed them um, so we felt good about the home that they were coming from and they said that they felt good that we were a good home and that um, we really respected him he said he turned away one person because he wasn't sure that they were going to be a good fit for the dog which is respectable and knowing that he's not just you know um, you know he's not just breeding the dog for money. Um, he's actually taking care of the dog, so that was nice. Um, by the Going in, my boyfriend wanted a male puppy, but after meeting two females and a male, we both really liked the female puppy. And so on Friday, he committed and he paid for half of her on Friday. And we were gonna, we're gonna, we planned to go pick her up Monday, tomorrow. But then yesterday he was at my house and he was like, as soon as I run to Walmart and get her food and toys and bed, and as soon as he got a crate that his sister had, um, or a kennel, um, he was like, there's no reason why we can't get her today. So we ended up getting the puppy on Saturday. Um, and so this whole weekend was just basically, um, meeting her and getting her used to us and uh yeah it's really fun i'm really glad he's uh he got her and that now i have a puppy i get to play with all the time and she's really cute um my dog does not particularly like other dogs and but when he has been around small puppies he gets he's like worried at first but then he becomes protective of them. And we kind of started noticing that again with her. Um, she started whining at one point and he came up to her like, like, is she okay? So that's good. He's uh, laying on the floor right here next to me. He's uh, very possessive of me and protective of me. So um, yeah, it's been, it's been a kind of a long weekend, but it was like long in the fun way. So yeah. Um, still social distancing um we went we had to go to walmart but we both wore um gloves and a mask um as soon as i got home my mom got me to clorox wipe everything down threw the walmart bags away um, we hate to be wasteful we normally keep plastic bags so that we're not wasting but with everything going on we figured it's just better than possibly catching covid if it's on the bags um once this is all over we'll continue keeping walmart bags but um yeah, um, we kept washing our hands. We avoided touching our faces. I mean, obviously with the mask on, you can't touch your face, but um, we did try our best to not touch anything. And then we took the gloves and, you know, put them somewhere where they're not gonna be touching other stuff. Just trying to keep like uh, contaminated things in one area, clean things in another. Um, so yeah, please be safe, stay home. I haven't left my house except 
to go between me and my boyfriend's house and to go to my family's house, but we all live in the same road, so we're all like quarantined together. Um, I've been to the store once. I've been to pick up food twice in the last like month, so just stay home. It's not worth going out. Um, I Oh, I did have a socially distant picnic last week. Um, I'm in the last video. Um, but we all stayed six feet apart, didn't touch anything. Uh, just, just please be um, smart about this. And I know that there's speculation going around about like maybe this isn't as bad as we think it is, but you know, it's better to be safe than sorry. Um, we know, I mean, I'm sure everybody knows somebody that has it, that's gotten it at some point. So it's just best to be careful and not take chances. Um, and then we can get this thing over with and we can get back to life. We can stop being quarantined. Um, so, just be smart, wash your hands, don't touch your face, so stay distant. If you have to go to the store for something, bring protective measures, wear a mask, wear gloves, stay six feet apart from people, don't go touching everything that everybody else has touched, don't hoard. It's very annoying to go to the store and not be able to find anything. So just be conscientious of other people. So yeah, uh, like and subscribe, um, NSC is putting out videos every week and even though i'm not on exchange i'm still trying to share my experience of um online classes covid quarantine everything um since this is my exchange semester um it's been a weird semester definitely not one anyone was used to so um we're all sharing this weird time together and i'm sharing my experience with you and there's other people on exchange that are sharing um their experiences so like and subscribe and uh, let us know what you think.